March is Fraud Prevention Month, and today on Copy, we're talking about how to prevent a fraudulent act. We have Constable Blinsoka to tell us about the general theme of Fraud Month that uh, that's happening. What what are we doing this month for Fraud Prevention? Well, Fraud Prevention Month is the the overall theme for the entire month is change your password, and we had a launch the other day, and uh, we actually had the chief out uh, doing changing his password. So. Um, each week we do have a different theme. The first week, this week that we're starting off here with is uh, changing your password at home, whether it's on your laptop or your desktop or wherever that you may have a password. Um, we're encouraging people to change that because it's something that can easily be uh, compromised. Uh, and the second week is changing your password on your mobile. So uh, making sure that your mobile device is, is, is secure and making sure that you change it there. And then our third week uh, we're going to be focusing on the youth and having them change their passwords in the many different uh, devices that they are busy at uh, throughout the day. And the last uh, week on um, Fraud Prevention Month is we're going to focus on identity theft and we're going to be kicking off that week with a shredding event. At uh, We're partnered with AMA and we're going to be having a shredding event uh, at their parking lot uh, and we're going to be shredding both uh, paper and electronic devices. Okay and so what are, uh, Kara, what are mistakes people often make when choosing a password, making them easy for someone to, to access? Well, now we're recommending that you actually use a passphrase instead of just a simple password. So a passphrase is easy to remember. You can change it easily. You can put numbers in. It's best to use lots of capitals and numbers and different characters so that it makes it a stronger password and less likely to be um, manipulated by somebody else trying to access your information. And um, are, are acts like this happening all the time? People accessing accounts? Do people sometimes not even know someone's been in their account or in their information? Yeah, absolutely. It does happen and it is a, a type of crime that is reported to us often and uh, th throughout the country actually and throughout the province, throughout the city actually it happens all the time. And it is something that uh, we need to be vigilant about. And. Uh, any time that you start thinking that it's not going to happen to me, that's when it becomes dangerous. And you definitely knew, as Kara said, you definitely need to be changing your, your password often. And uh, we recommend that uh, you change it every six months to a year. And uh, especially change it if you think you've been compromised in any way. And uh, one of the key things too is never share your password with anybody, even your significant other. Um, I wouldn't. I would suggest not sharing it with them either, just because who knows they could share it with somebody else, and then it just uh, becomes uh, a problem that way. Absolutely. And um, is there any is there anything someone should do if they have been if someone's accessed their information, someone's gotten to their account? Is there something that can be done, or is it kind of you're stuck? Uh, no, I mean, it, it depends obviously what it is. If somebody's accessed your banking records or anything like that, for sure bring it to the police because we can help you um, through fraudulent acts like that, right? That is fraud accessing your information and your banking records and stuff like that. And that seems to be the most common. Thank you both of you for joining us today. March is Fraud Prevention Month. Again, change your passwords, very important.